Good morning, children. I am Deepak Kumar, your teacher. And children, today we are going to read a story named "He is my brother." So, children, you can see in these pictures, a girl is carrying a small boy. So, children, I hope that. you all have brothers and sisters and children you can understand the importance of a sister or a brother at home children if you have a an elder sister then you are very lucky children generally sisters love their brothers very much and if the brother is younger than children they they love them like their own son so children i am very lucky that when i was a child like you all i used to move many places with my sister and my sister used to put me on her back and children in this picture you can see the love and affection of a sister for her brother so the story he is my brother is based on the same theme in which a sister shows her love and affection for her brother and she even doesn't care her pain when she carries her younger brother and she loves very much to her brother that she has no problem at all in climbing on hills with her brother this beautiful story has been taken from a story by sanat kumar bhat so let's start reading the story my he is my brother once upon a time there was a small hill hill you know children hill is a high area lower than a mountain there was a small hill a path went up the hill path means a road children it went through thick and lovely woods of pine and fir trees pine and fir trees are some types of tree children people often walked on it to a holy place so children what happened there was a small hill at any place children and a path went up the hill and children why the people went there children there was it was children a holy place there there may be a mosque or a temple or a church so people often walked on it children one day when the sun shone high in the sky many people were seen climbing up the hill children do you know the meaning of climbing climbing means to move up towards the top of something they were climbing slowly and carefully so children it was a sunny sunny day children and the sun was shining high in the sky means there was a high temperature in the day and people were facing the heat also children and many people were seen climbing up the hill and they were climbing very slowly and carefully why because they were climbing on a hill children so when we climb up climb up on a hill or a mountain we have to be careful that's why the people were climbing very slowly and carefully 
a girl also climbed the hill with them her name was meena what was the name of that girl children meena meena was 12 years old she carried a small boy on her back back means children back part of her body so children there was a girl named meena and she was a girl and she was also climbing the hills with that people and children meena was only 12 years old she was a small child like you all and she carried a small boy on her back next paragraph children he was 4 years old his hair was curly curly means children not straight shaped like a curl ghungra le bal his eyes were black and his face was as fresh as the morning dew children have you seen the drops of dew yes children dew means drops of moisture so you can see it in the morning you can see it on the grasses and the leaves so children the boy was of 4 years old it it meant that the the sister was elder than that boy and children the boy had curly hairs means his hairs were was round was round in shape and his eyes were black the color of his eyes were black and his face was as fresh children if you if you see a baby you can see the freshness of that boy or or a baby they they are char so charming children you can compare the freshness with their face children and it and the face was as fresh as the morning dew children if if you have seen the dew you can see it's very fresh and it shines brightly in the morning next paragraph children as the sunshine danced through the trees meena climbed the hill slowly and steadily so children steadily means continuously niyamit taur par नियमित गति से मीना वॉज हैप्पी द बॉय वॉज ऑल्सो हैप्पी सो चिल्ड्रन इफ यू हैव पास थ्रू द ट्रीज इन द डे इन द लाइट इन द सनी डे चिल्ड्रन यू कैन सी द शेडो ऑफ द ट्री एंड यू कैन ऑल्सो सी the lights of sun here in their children and if children the branches of the tree moves then it starts dancing it means it start moving and it is like the scene of dance so that why the word danced is used here so the children so the sunshine danced through the trees meena climbed the hills slowly and steadily meena was happy children in spite of climbing on a hill children if you have climbed on any hilly area you can feel the you can feel the situation it is not an easy task to climb on a on a hill easily children it needs a lot of efforts but in in spite of these difficulties meena was very happy 
and that boy was also happy. Next paragraph, children. A man in the group looked at Meena. He felt sorry for her. Sorry means sad. He asked her, My child, where are you? Sorry, why are you carrying a boy on your back? Don't you feel his load? Children, load means some weight. So a lot of people were climbing on the on that hill, children. So one of one of them, a man, looked at Meena. And children, he looked that a small girl is carrying his uh, her younger brother on her back, and in spite of her difficulty, she was very happy. So he felt sorry for her children, and then he asked her, "My child, why are you carrying a boy on her back, children?" Actually, her brother could not move on his own feet. That's why Mina was carrying his uh, her brother on her back. But that person didn't know. So he asked a question: Why are you carrying a boy on her on your back? Don't you feel his load? When we climb on the hills. we face a lot of trouble children we had to do more and more effort and if we carry a load sometimes then it is a it is more difficult to climb and meena was carrying her brother and that person felt sorry for her that's why the person asked this question to meena next paragraph children meena looked at him in wonder she could not understand him her brother was unable to walk meena asked lord of course not he is my brother then children when meena heard that lines she looked at him in wonder that why she actually could not understand why that person is calling a load she could not understand children she was carrying her brother and she didn't think it a load that's why when the person said his brother a load on her back she could not understand then meena asked load no not at all why because he was her brother and she had no not any problem in carrying her brother and she was happy with him it showed a unique love and affection for a boy or for a brother from a sister children you can see the love and affection of your sister at home they cares they care a lot so in this story meena had a great care for her brother and chil- children meena in spite of being a small child give a lesson to an elder one a grown up person it showed that the children may have better understanding than man or a grown up person and we can't neglect a child and his or her dedication his and her work understood children
now children there are some new words so children new words with meanings first path path means road sadak what do we say in hindi children sadak second holy holy means sacred what do we say in hindi pavitra third curly curly means shaped like a curl means round in shape ghungrale bal what do we say in hindi ghungrale bal fourth dew dew means drop of moisture In Hindi we say os os ki bunde Number 5 climbed climbed means to move up up towards the top of something Upar chadhna What do we say in Hindi children upar chadhna Number 6 wonder wonder means surprise आश्चर्य चकित होना एंड नंबर सेवन लोड लोड मीन्स वेट वजन नंबर एट सॉरी सॉरी मीन्स सैड उदास होना या दुख होना नाउ चिल्ड्रेन वी मूव टू एक्सरसाइज सो फर्स्टली रीडिंग इज फन एंड क्वेश्चन नंबर वन वेयर वर द पीपल गोइंग answer is children the people were climbing a small hill to visit a holy place nearby the people were climbing a small hill to visit a holy place nearby now question number 2 what did the man say to meena and the answer the man inquired to meena why she was carrying the load of a small boy on her back the man inquired to meena why she was carrying the load of a small boy on her back now question number 3 why do you think meena was carrying her brother answer meena was carrying her brother on her back because he she was sorry he was unable to walk and she loved him very much meena was carrying her brother on her back because he was unable to walk and she loved him very much now children talk time so in it children we have to choose the correct answer so first question children what went up the hill and the options are a a path b a street c a road d a rail a rail line and the correct answer is children a path second what is the name of the girl in the story and the options are a seema b beena c meena and d neena and the correct answer is children option c meena Question three: How old was Mina? Options are children: A. Ten, B. Twelve. A. Ten, B. Twelve, C. Nine, and D. Eight. And the correct answer is children: 
it's B12. Question number four. How old was Mina's brother? And options are A, five, B, four, C, six, and D, seven. And the correct answer is children, it's B, four. So children, you can see the answers here also. First, A, a path. Second, C, Mina. Third, B, 12. And fourth, B, 4. Now, children, let's write. Question 1. Fill in the blanks using the correct given words. And the options are children, rat, sip, box, rug, cot, ten, pit. So children, we have to fill in the blanks carefully. First, the boy fell in the pit. P-I-T, pit. Pit means gadha. Second, I dash hot milk. And the correct option is sip. S I P, sip. Third, the kid is in the. The kid is in the cot. C O T, cot. Okay, children. Number four. My toy is in the box. Five. The lion is in the den. D E N. Six. The cat runs after the rat. Number seven. I sit on the rug. R U G. Rug. Okay, children. You can see here also the correct answers, children. You can read children. The boy fill in the pit. I sip hot milk. Third, the kid is in the cot. Number four, my toy is in the box. Five, the lion is in the tin. Six, the cat runs after the rat. Number seven, I sit on the rug. Okay, children. Now, question two. Fill in the blanks with the opposite of the underlined word given in the sentence. What we have to do, children? There are underlined words and we have to write the opposite words for them. So, children, I will underline here and you have to reply the correct answer. So, for correct answer, you have to say the opposite word of the underline. First, the rat ran in. In is underlined. underlined. The rat ran in when the cat ran out. O-U-T. Out. Second, the lion is big. Big is underlined, children. The lion is big, but the ant is small. S M A double L. Third, the giraffe has a long neck. 
long is underlined children the giraffe has a long neck but owls are short the correct answer is children short s h o r t short okay children i hope that you all have understood and noted down number 4 4 the sun appears in the day day is underlined children the sun appears in the day and the moon at night the correct answer is children night very good children fifth the tea is hot hot is underlined children the tea is hot but the water is so write the opposite of hot and it's cold c o l d cold number 6 trees are tall underline the word tall children trees are tall but the bushes are short the opposite word for tall is short short number 7 ram was sad but radha was so here the underlined word is sad children ram was sad but radha was write the opposite of sad so it's happy the correct answer is children happy so children i hope that you all have understood and noted down the correct answer so children you can read here also you can note the correct uh, answers children first the rat ran in when the cat ran out the lion is big but the ant is small the giraffe has a long neck but the owls are short the sun appears in the day and the moon at night the tea is hot but the water is cold six trees are tall but the bushes are short ram was sad but but radha was happy so children you can write and you can make a list of the opposite words also children write choose uh, some other words and write their uh, opposite words children it's your assignment so children that's all for today thank you very much you all